What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So for those that don't know, I brought me a desk treadmill, an under-the-desk treadmill. I had the cam on earlier. Tonight, I'm not doing that. I've only been on live for going on 11 hours. So I'm about to cut my um, cut my treadmill on. Y'all going to see me moving. It's all right. Don't pay me no attention. Just got to get this weight on and do it. My sister come over and take these two. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit for me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. Who you doing? Baby, it's time to turn up. I mean, take you shot after shot, roll you blunt after blunt, and if you are vegan and you don't do anything and you real clean, Find something to do, drink some water, do something, cause okay. baby, it is the end of the month and you made it. A lot of people didn't, friend, but you made it. And guess who proud of you? Me. I am proud of you, friend. That means we only have four more months until a new year. Baby, you are at the stretch. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's all I'm gonna say. No, all right. Enough of that ushy, gushy, mushy, lovey, dovey bullshit. We got a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's okay. a whole lot, a lot of going hey, on. It's hey, a whole lot, hey, a whole lot. Hey, okay, call hey. that. I call that. I call that. <laughs> it's a whole lot of going on, y'all. They is outside this week. So before we start, I'm going to give a shout out to my friend. That is Mocha Hunters. Hey. Mocha Mocha Hunters. Thank you so much for having my post notifications on. You were the first to come in. And baby, when I mean that is something special, they be ready. I believe y'all be at home just like waiting, knowing, oh, bitch, she about to post it. Because how the hell, within five seconds, it's 300 comments? How? So y'all go over and show her some love. Retweet, like, follow her Instagram. Y'all connect, become YouTube friends, TikTok friends, Twitter friends, real life friends, whatever. Because the Zone Navy is a real Navy and we stick with each other, baby, no matter what. I love you, but most of all, Mocha Hunters, you my friend. Hey, bitch. All right. Now it's time to get into y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying it's in some shit. shit. First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Queen Key and 600 Breezy. Now, don't get me the line, baby. I don't even know how this started, what started, or what even caused it to come about. But baby, if I had triplets by somebody, and you want taking care of not now one of them, I don't give a fuck who started what. I'm talking shit. And I guess that's what she did. So as y'all know, school started back and these fees is fin. So Queen Key went to her Twitter and she said, bitch, I gotta pay 25K for preschool. I'm dissing that nigga all school. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? The T, 25K for preschool? Hell no. All school year. Somebody said 25K. That better be the magic school bus that okay. y'all right on. And I said, do y'all not remember? She got three. It's triplet, oh. not just one. So I can imagine 25K. That's for three children. And then she goes on. She says, I wish somebody would tell me to take it to court. The only judge I'm seeing is Judge Saul Landon. Catch these bars, bitch. <laughs> I don't know the bar. <laughs> but if somebody Oh, to Saul Landon to do. <laughs> He, he from, he not from Charlotte. I don't know, whatever. Tell me it went over my head. Maybe I'm not in the loop, but it oh. He does judge content for uh, rappers that want to come out and diss somebody or promote their music. Okay. Now she didn't stop there. And she said, don't know that your kids go to private school, but mine. And I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing you referring so what's the name, Jasmine Sherman? Because you know, I guess they were talking about their kids in private school, they paying for this. She said, oh baby, don't know your kids go to private schools, but mine. And so somebody came up and said, girl, why Breezy faggot ass speaking? He ain't getting tired of being treated yet. And she, <laughs> and she said, what that bitch say? <laughs> I said, what? Queen Key, he ain't said nothing. So the person come back and they said, girl, I'm just, I'm just asking the question. <laughs> Queen 
thought that they were saying he said something. They said, sis, I don't, I don't want no smoke. He ain't say shit. I'm asking. Because you just going off and we trying to figure out what you going off for. We just want to know what's going on. So, okay. honey, he come out and then he put this up. Why are you so obsessed with me? And as y'all heard it happen, Rod Carey, and with the quote he had put, she still wants me five years later and it shows. Now, Nigga, take care of your kids. What do you mean? I ain't gonna lie, the man is fine, y'all. To me. But I mean... Ain't a nigga that fine in the world who don't take care of their kids, bro. One of the ugly niggas. Come on, bro. You ain't that fine, you don't take care of your kids. The shit that come with him, you just can't do it. Maybe. <laughs> she said, hold on, wait a minute. Come here, wait a minute. If I was obsessed, I would take you to court so I could be around you the slightest bit. Be for real, you big back shred looking ass bitch. <laughs> I said, God damn. Well, girl, hold on. He want all that when he, he was with you, girl, but we do be the Lulu in love, so I don't know. Anyway, I don't want shit to do with you, ho. You just spiritually in debt. And every day you breathe, you gon' know it. Be a man, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? And I'm gonna treat this nigga to Mariah Carey, sweet ass nigga playing Mariah motherfucking Carey. I said, girl, she is on him. And I mean, she ain't letting up. So that we're all clear, she just fucking with him for fun. So with that being said, if it ain't about me, you are spiritually in debt for life, baby. Next game. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Trey and our mind. Now before I start this one, I just wanna say fans are really messy. And y'all gotta be careful how you respond to stuff because fans can ruin friendships with, as you see, siblings and people who don't even have problems with each other. So how this all happened? Somebody had went on the Twitter and they start- They can't if you ain't got no issues. They clearly have some issues. Talking about Trey's sister saying a whole lot, a whole lot. Our mom's bit that sister talking about she's tired of getting harassed and she got time. She need to find time for a gym and close that thigh gap. And as you can see, they said a whole lot, a whole lot. So as a brother, what do you do? You come and you defend your sister. So Trey comes in and he says, Ah, that makes sense. He came in defending the sister. Got it. What he has to say. So while he's defending his sister and he's going back and forth with these accounts, these accounts end up being our Mun Stan accounts. So what do they do? They come in and they start talking shit because now you said something about their sister, which he's supposed to come in and defend her, and now you want to get mad at him and bring in the brother. And with that, they start calling him jealous of his brother and you're going to stay where you are because you be moving with ill intentions. So child, Trey comes in and he says, I can pop out when I'm ready. You should be worried about why your old ass is running, <laughs> running a stand account. So baby, that made her mad. She said, oh, my life is good. You just mad that you don't have a stand account that you speak of. I had supported you because of Armand, but I see your true heart now. You are trash. First of all, baby, how you gonna turn this back on him like he started it? When the other person was talking about his sister, all he did was took up for his family. And then y'all, because you are fans of his brother, wanna switch it around and attack him because he was calling y'all out y'all name. Now, I get it, he was saying bitch, slut, ho, whatever. So he was hitting y'all where it hurt. So then y'all wanna hit him where it hurt. And he- I ain't gonna lie, I'm still confused too, uh, Chrissy. Like he was protecting the sister, but a stand account came for him like how you come for Trey taking up for Armand's sister if you're a stan account of Armand and that's his sister don't get it dead into it when he shouldn't have said some of the things he said and this is where it became okay is he really throwing shots at his brother he responds with i don't give a fuck about a stand account i got supporters who fuck with me for real i got hella support and all my songs stream great and i ain't shot no music video no that's the gag because his brother has been shooting music videos let's keep going i barely but that may mean he haven't you know what i'm saying i ain't shot no video how would that be a shot to Armand? <laughs> Just cause he's shooting videos. It don't make sense. Promo, et cetera, I am him. Now the girls was like, wait a minute, because his brother's name on Twitter is 
him. So then he comes I back and he says, that won't even shake my brother is you cool. And that's when Armand comes out and I guess he felt a little bit hit. And he says, throwing shade won't help you shine. Beat the odds, do numbers, and remain humble. Yeah, elevation must be very near, cause BS is starting to spiral, shaking my head. Stay focused. Now to me, I do believe there's something going on behind the scenes with him and his brother, because one, they both do music, and they used to do music together. And then when you branch off and you do music on your own, and want to start to elevate a little bit more, I do feel it will rub you the wrong way, especially when you're both in the same Field. Now, we're on the curve, and what I hear people saying is that they believe Trey do sound better, and he has no reason to be jealous of Armand. And sometimes the people who feel as though that they are actually more musically inclined, but the person who looks better and has that media look is getting the most shine, it might rub you the wrong way, like, okay, I'm actually good. But because he looks good, people fuck with his shit more instead of where their talent really is. Now, now, I ain't saying that's what it is, but I'm just saying that could be the issue. So then they go. That's always been the issue. Everybody has always compared the singing. They're just two different people. Corey live again on what? If he live on Instagram, we can save that. If he live on Facebook, we got to go to it. What he live on? Continue. So, and they unfollow each other on Instagram and everybody start to peep that. I don't know, maybe they just have a little tip for tat. You know, brothers do fall out, but being jealous of each other, I just hate that for them when they're both actually very talented. So then Armand comes out, he posts up his accomplishment. And if you read it, you catch some more shade. I don't have to do 100 million streams to feel my goal is reached. I come from nothing. I've always been the type to do my own thing. I've learned when you focus on you and the people that love you, you can't feel like you're not succeeding. My supporters feel like I'm the biggest in the world. He goes on and he says a whole lot more. And to me, it felt a little shot of his brother because if you remember at the beginning, his brother said, I do numbers, I do this, um, without even promoting, without putting my all into it. So it's like when your brother gets the acknowledgement and the awards that he gets, don't get upset because you're the one sitting back doing nothing. You may have a good voice, but sometimes you have to put in the work to get the reward because you can have a talent. But I would rather work with the person who don't have a talent and build them who wants it than to just be with somebody who just thinks, oh, my talent should make me shine. All right, well, if it ain't about me, Let's keep keeping this case. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have J-Lo versus B. Now, honey, <laughs> I know marriage hates to see J-Lo coming because at this point, J-Lo, it's you. I don't give a fuck what nobody said, baby, it is you. 1222 in the chat. You. So JLo files for divorce from Ben, according to TMZ. Now the documents are saying she filed for separation on April 26, 2024. Now if you remember, they started dating in 2022 and officially split it January 2024. Married in July 16th of 2024. And in Water Nocur is JLo did not mention if they had a prenup or not. And lastly, they are saying that JLo waived spousal support and asking the judge to deny being any type of support. Now, I don't know why this hot is with the block, because if it didn't happen right the first time, then baby, it's not gonna happen right the second time. And if we gonna be real, baby, ain't nobody been busier than that red squiggly line on all, <laughs> on all these blogs. Like, I'm like, girl, she needs to be paid. And J-Lo, let me just tell you something, sweetie. This is coming from the heart. I ain't being messy, but maybe you need to try a woman. <laughs> because it seems like a man ain't working out for you. Because at this point, you got more rings than Michael Jordan. And that's crazy. Like, let's be real. She's been married, what, five times, if I'm not mistaken? Don't quote me, but I think I'm right. But hey, to those who are feeling down and you feel like you cannot make it, look at J-Lo. Don't be afraid to fail. One, two, three, not even four. Now, I didn't want to be messy, but word on the curb is, J-Lo, you wrong. You wrong because it was said that, now allegedly, it was said that you came out with this tequila line knowing that your husband has been struggling with addiction and alcohol was one of them. Why the hell would you do that? <laughs> you messy. That's messy. That ain't messy. Stay away from it.
I'm not going to stop making my money because you over here can't keep your hands off the liquor. CJ Lo. Oh, that's messy. You definitely, you're always worried about you. You did it with that girl on TikTok too when you got her account banned and then come to find out you knew that's where that girl, allegedly, you knew that's where that girl was getting her money from and how she was paying for her procedures and when you got her account banned, that girl died. Now see the karma of this girl, oh! The karma of this girl is working this round. See, I ain't gonna, let me hush. Cause ever since then, it shit ain't been right. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Will Got the Juice and Olivia. I remember months back we had, now y'all remember months back we had talked about them. It was alleged that Will was cheating on her. He was talking to some girl via Snapchat, sending some pictures that I wish I could have seen, but I ain't seen them, but I want to see them. But that ain't none of my business. That was going on, and that wasn't the first time. There was times before that Will has alleged cheated on Olivia. So, child, it brings us to today. Now, people have noticed Will has been out. He's been in videos with other girls and things like that. So, somebody took it amongst themselves to go onto Olivia's page. They went up under her comments and said, well, girl, have you seen Will in these videos with these other girls? What's going on? Y'all together with T. Tell us something, girl. Give us a lemon and squeeze it. <laughs> so child, Olivia came back and she put up under the comments. She said, uh, me and Will are good. Will she drop what tea? Always be friends. We're gonna take care of the kids, whatever the case may be. Woo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So somebody goes back and they spread the word, girl. They said, Olivia said something like, you know, what, huh, Will gonna be good. He ain't G-A-Y. I didn't see her say that. I don't even think she said that. I think they added that for a little bit of spices. But yeah, so they started coming up under her comments like, girl, y'all broke up. Congratulations. Woo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And it started flooding. So Olivia cut off her comments, girl, like, girl, don't talk. Talk about this with me. So, honey, I don't know. I guess they done broke up. Oh. They still follow each other on Instagram, whatever the case may be. But Will has been out in the streets doing his thing, been, you know, networking and stuff like that. So then this TikTok came out, and this is what they had to say. Okay, so I made a video about Olivia and Will maybe a month back. Probably hasn't even been a month. But recently, I've been seeing people in my comments say that they broke up. So Y'all know me, I had to go see. And Olivia didn't really get into the details of why they broke up, but she did say that, you know, no matter what, they're still gonna be there for each other, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, right? But on the flip side, I feel like she's been noticing that he's been changing in all the wrong ways. And then in my comment section, some of y'all was saying that she probably realized her worth, you know, after a while and he still don't want to marry her. And then I was remembering, it was a video way, way back and they was playing truth or drink, right? He had asked her like, one of the questions says, how do you feel about me not proposing to you and it's been three years? And she was like, honestly, I'll just take a drink because I don't want to speak on that. He was like, okay, take a drink. It's like men intentionally, if you let them, they will play in your face. No. I also think women playing in their own face. If you know he don't want to marry you, as in, you know that he not about that life at all. Y'all have discussed it. You're about that life. He's not about that life. Why are you staying with him? If you about that life, go find you a man that will marry you. If you're not about that life and both of y'all have an agreement, however it go, that's a different conversation. So I don't know what the conversations is, but. And I'm really starting to realize with some men, it's like they genuinely don't want to be with you. They genuinely enjoy the thought of being with you because you're either so pretty or, you know, you got a lot going on for yourself. But genuinely, when it comes down to it, they don't want to be with you. And that's the reason why they won't marry you. They know they don't want to be with you. They just want to be with you so no one else can be with you. So, girl, I don't know because, as y'all know, they've been together for a minute and they still ain't married and she gave this man two children. What do y'all think? Do y'all think she finally found her worth or do y'all think they just mad again? They done separated. They finna do their little whoop de whoop and then they gonna come back together. So, therefore, they didn't really cheat on each other or he didn't cheat on her because they were separated and then when the stuff the street ain't good no more, you can come on back home. Girl, as long as she keep taking her back, you gonna keep doing what he do. Hell, I don't know, I don't blame him. Hey, if that's what work for y'all, that's what work for y'all. If it ain't about me, let's kick it. Next game. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Drake. <laughs> now, Drake has been on, on a little hiatus. I don't know where he been, but he ain't been in the scene. Last time we heard from him, Kendrick Lamar was turning him every which way but loose. Okay. So, you know, Drake's been dropping little snippets here and there, but what I feel he's trying to do is just drop and see what he feels stick, and baby ain't shit been sticking. 
I don't know what to tell you, girlfriend. So after that, he now came out with this on his Finsta. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it said. I put it in the front page, back page, middle page, wherever. Headliners, column one or two, we will win game two. Got back it off. We will win game two. Sweetie, let just wrap it up. Give it, give it up. I win. You lose. <laughs> Girl, game two, you lost the series. That's crazy, cause Corey said that today. Series, baby, take the L and shut the fuck up. It, it just stop before Kendrick come out and drop the rest of the 25 tracks he got just waiting. Okay. Kendrick, please don't respond. Because what I feel is I feel Drake is taunting him to make him say some more. Don't even say nothing, Kendrick. Drake, Drake is just, she bumbling. She bumbling. Sus is bumbling. Talking about some damn game two. Bitch, you done lost the series. Better yet, you been knocked out the playoffs. Like, oh God. we ain't got time to keep playing with you, Drake. We, we, we tried. You wanna, you wanna wait months later to come back? Bitch, what? You are doing everything but putting out some good music. Fuck trying to redeem yourself. Just put out music. It's over. It's over. Now, when Kendrick Lamar respond back to him and he do some more shit, don't y'all Drake fans say bullying and he doing too much and he just want clout? Drake has been posting and posting and saying slick shit and Kendrick ain't said nothing. Now, when he finally do, because this is what Drake always do and y'all always overlook this. He did it with all them other niggas who jump in when Kendrick Lamar finally said something. Drake always taunt them in songs or taunt them on little posts and shit like that. And y'all giggle and laugh, but don't want to call him a bully. But then when people team up and finally say, let's all get him at one time, because he fucked with all of us. If you've been victimized by Regina George, Drake, raise your hand. Then now y'all want to say they bullying because they jumping. No, they just tired. And they said, fuck it, let's just attack. How you going to quit the first round and want to come <laughs> and want to talk about That nigga literally quit the first round. He really did. Round two. Did you quit? <laughs> Shut up. If it ain't about me, let's kick in the case. All right, that is all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the ducket, we have BJ TV and them. Now, I don't know if y'all noticed, but there was a reason I wasn't putting this on Messy Monday because I already knew what was going on. I already knew how it was going to end, and I didn't want to feed into the bullshit. Oh, Lord. Girl, he said them. Not me. Hold Let's on, keep man. Let's keep All right, that is all I have for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea. Let's get into this mess. First of the ducket, we have BJ TV and them. I, just, I called it late. Now, I, I don't know enough? if y'all noticed, but there was a reason I wasn't putting this on Messy Monday because I already knew what was going on. I already knew how it was going to end, and I didn't want to feed into the bullshit that was going on, but because now we've made it to the end and what I knew was going to happen, now I'm going to talk on it because... Bitch, this is stupid. So, how it all happened, Bitch ATV, they mind their own business, stay in their they own do. lane, don't they fuck do. with nobody, nobody unless you fuck with them. Fact. And if you fuck with them, they may say some shit that might come off as very harsh, might be rude, whatever the case may be. But the thing is, whatever they say, they gonna back it the fuck up. So, they wore their wigs, we all knew this how it started. They came out, they wore their wigs. They were promoting the wigs, whatever the case may be. It went viral. Everybody loved it. They were the couple that everybody was talking about. They were the spotlight. They were the moment. Now, once that happened, all of a sudden, these two came out and they did the exact same thing. Through their shade, you knew it was shade. You knew who they was coming for. And that was started everything. It wasn't about no fucking wigs. It wasn't about none of that. It was jealousy and it was throwing shade. That's what it was. Any That's a fact. Any other couple or anybody that comes I'm out. I'm supposed to be lifting my weight right now. And feels as though they are giving these people any type of competition. They coming for you. They did it with Sheik and Sean and all the other ones and was like, we gonna last longer than y'all and da 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 woo 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 woo. They love to brag about that. And now you got this other couple who is now not going anywhere and you feel some type of way. So now you say, how can we get their supporters because we know their supporters- Y'all know Sheik his friend. So now I see what's going on. Like that content. 
And if we could just get their attention, we know people like drama. And if we get them to like us and see who we are and what we do, then we can get people to come over here and fuck with us. So I didn't report on it. I didn't say nothing because I saw what was going on. So then things started getting exchanged. They start going tit for tat. BJTV said what they said. They said what they said. Then it comes to this right here. My nigga will beat you so bad that you'll be putting your daughter in a microwave and watching that bitch blow up into a million motherfucking pieces. No, what your mama should have did. No, what your mama should have did was take that knife that she used to murder your father and slice your motherfucking daughter neck open. Now when it got to that, that's when I'm like, oh bitch, you done went too motherfucking far. Okay. Bitch, I just wanna fight. Big Big Lady, Big Lady, if you want to say it, come and get it. On my mama, bitch. Literally, on my daughter. Baby, we tried to be Beyonce on the internet, bitch, and now we give you hoes Olivia Pop, bitch. Class and session for you hoes, for real. <laughs> baby, on today's doc, baby, Cosmo and Wanda, aka Coffee Beans and, and Crab Legs. Please. The fuck? Y'all girls is crazy. We don't drink coffee over here, bitch. We drink tea. So let's spit it. Hello. So I understand. Nah, no shade, no tea. But bitch, I understand when we ask you hoes to pull up, y'all couldn't pull up. Cause you got an expired motherfucking registration on that little Chevy, Chevy Red, whatever the fuck Corvette you got going on. Cause you got a citation January 4th, 2024. You had to go to court what? February what? Four. February 6th at 9.30. Hello, Mr. Jackson. You remember the name? Oh, remember it, bitch. So I made it, I made it easier for you. Since you can't come to us, we gonna come to Conroe. Ooh. Where you reside at Conroe? We gonna come there, baby. That's only 54 minutes away from me. You see how aggravated I am right now? Bitch, I'll be there in 20. 20 minutes. I'm telling you that. You don't own that house, babe. You the big boss. Why would you get on the internet talking about you own a house and you don't? But what I can do is buy a house and you'll be back at Hartsville, South Carolina, where your mama reside. What I can do is buy that house. Mr. Goodson? You'll be back when your mama runs out! <laughs> she won't be good. Hello, Miss Goodson? That's what the fuck. You gonna have to go after I'm done you with you. You shit, mamas. So, you can't come to us, so I'm gonna come to Conroe. Or we can come to Hartsville, South Carolina. Or we can come to the church. 9.30 service, baby. Amazing Grace, how sweet this ass whooping go sound. 20 black suburbs, yeah. we pull up like Sunday service. We just want to one on one, don't know why you're so nervous. Fuck what you understand, cause Lala is perfect, bitch. Hello, you can't sit with her on your birthday. Hello, Phil. This is the only place we need to be. Literally, it's no talking after this. Fuck the wig. You just said enough. It wasn't even about the wig, it's about my door. That's what it's about. Phil. Cosmo on the field. Now, 1098, you should, you should, I know this name. You see the number? Last four. That's the last four. 25, 25, it might be familiar to you. 4012, it might be familiar to you too. This is the only place we need to be, but I feel the feel. Nothing else to talk about. You done did your no shit. No more lies. None of that. Feel. Feel now. You in downtown Houston, me too. Downtown Houston, ready to pop a hole. Huh. Me, feel, nothing else to talk about. Let me know where you at, or I'ma come to you. 54 minutes away, I already told you. Gagged, gagged. You gonna oh. be with in the street, come see about me. Literally. Yeah, and let me just say something to my family member that has something to say. Let me gag you real quick, cause you said, oh, they bring up kids, I do, I don't spell nobody. I don't spell grandmas, dead people, kids don't spell nobody. But we get in the field though. But keep in mind, you can't have kids, your uterus fucked up. Remember that, why y'all cooped up in a hotel and a school bus coming to the motherfucking hotel. Where about putting them kids in a nice home? Then fucking with- You said, why you cooped up in a hotel? I told you hoes, this ain't what you want. Thank you. Feel. Feel. That's the only place we need to be. And people started coming out saying everything that they needed to say. You bitches need to fight. Now I feel like it's been too much said between both parties. Well, not even really both parties. Between Jalen and Carter. Honestly, I really thought this beef was childish as fuck just because it was over two punks and wigs. I mean, two couples. <laughs> I like both couples. Let's just say it like this. Like, Jalen and Cardo has more animosity like even from the beginning i feel like that shit was intentional the wig shit and it was so like dramatic like carter was like yeah nigga because nigga i'll come over there and do da 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 da, da nigga and it was so serious 
Why are you so serious? <laughs> Corey live on Instagram. Well, good. I can save Instagram. No problem. It was intentional. Over. Like the way they set it up when BJ TV did a fucking wig video, Cardo did a, a well, Jalen and Cardo did a wig video. It's like one one party has more beef than the other party. And this shit is really funny as fuck because it is based off wigs. But it seems like Jaden and Cardo had like secret animosity. Do that make sense? Like it came out of fucking nowhere. Fast forward. Somebody asked me to talk about this. But to me it's pointless as fuck. It did go way too fucking far when y'all mentioned a fucking kid dying. Um, Yeah, what the fuck? How do, listen, I know like Libras go to hell. Like I'm gonna leave myself. But that was too fucking low a fucking child that shit is like you want your ass beat came to the conclusion now that it needs to be some type of fight Done talked about these people kids secret animosity and i don't understand why bj tv they're hyper as fuck they yell at their phone they cuss y'all out like they don't give a fuck they read the fuck out of everybody Jalen and cardo which it looks like they stay in their own fucking bubble make frappes whatever the fuck <laughs> Yeah, shit, it just uh, to me it went too far now i feel like it needs to be a fight and y'all need to record it it's, i have a picture of who gonna win like i said i like both parties but it's i need to set up a day i don't know what bj tv is doing it looks like they're busy Lynn and cardo are free it looks like um so y'all need to set that up Feel they scary on my soul on my soul i'm trying to tell y'all baby they pulling that chalk boy bitch they was ready to read and clear like they was ready to read and clear a classroom you hear me we're gonna keep it a being keep it a bug i was you hear me? my mouth closed i thought it was gonna fight today i thought we was all gonna get us a real good glimpse of the fight or whatever but I, it looked like the jayla and carter and them done cop the motherfucking please why is y'all on the beach y'all supposed to be in love with hip-hop houston what's going on it's like y'all did all that uh, 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 all that rock 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 on the internet but when it came time you know actually stand on beats and stand 10 toes now all of a sudden y'all on the island and there's a case open now after that had happened here comes bj tv's cousin she want to hop out and say oh i don't know why he's saying this i don't know why he's saying that he talked about my children and whoop 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 and he done talked about folks kids well girl guess what family he's a teacher? The fuck out family that's crazy talk about family if y'all want to say what the fuck y'all want to say about each other you family y'all can fight it out fall back together whatever the case may be that's what family do family ain't always happy and who's to say you ain't said shit behind scenes. Who's to say you ain't a dirty motherfucker behind scenes? We heard all about you and your cousin. Y'all paid for some shirts, didn't get your shirts. He didn't want to give you your money back, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's between family. We didn't have to know that. You didn't have to bring that to social media. That boy over there is just using you and soaking you up to get tea, to get you to talk about your family. He don't give a fuck about your ass, woman. He using you. He is using you to get tea, to get mess, to get drama off your own cousin and your stupid ass falling for it. How dumb are you? I don't give a fuck how much me and my cousin fall out. Only I'm going to talk shit about my family. Only. Unless you just really pissed me off that bad. But ain't nobody else going to say shit about my family but me. After they saying, how can he get mad because somebody talking about his child, but he done said some stuff exactly like what the fuck he said. I ain't saying he right for whatever he said about somebody else's children, but just like BJTV said, if I'm gonna talk about your children or talk about your grandmama, dead mama, whoever, I'm gonna back that shit up. So that means know. he know if he say something, consequences could happen, but he ain't afraid to get in the field to deal with those consequences. So when Wanda said what the fuck she said, she should have got that in the field and deal with the consequences. Cause that's what you said. Back up what you say. So then they want to taunt them. Oh, we gonna see you. We gonna see you. You ain't said. We gonna see you. You said no more talking. So when we see each other, we see each other. So then they go walking into the store. Oh, we in public. We in Houston. We in Dallas. Then they want to go. Oh, we out to eat. We here. We playing tennis. We're here. Well, girl, if you here and there and everywhere, then girl, you're instigating it. Now you saying this is what the fuck I want. This is what I want to do. Let's pop this motherfucking shit the fuck off. You giving all that big boy energy. You and your boyfriend sitting there. What the fuck's up? We bout that shit. We own that shit. We gonna do that shit. Oh, okay. Cool. Do that. So then, when you out here popping it like you big because the internet is giving you the big head, you getting these little views, shit going viral, whatever the case may be, your internet, baby. Your internet. Y'all forgot BJTV ain't internet. 
Hello? They will get outside. They'll come find In the field. Find you. And that's what they did. And the fact that they but even if they was in Houston, why didn't why didn't why didn't y'all come pull up when that I That was downtown. We should yeah. never even have to even text her. When y'all would have seen oh, when we put on that we was in Houston, y'all bro. Clock that, baby. I ain't baby, I ain't driving another hour, no shade. Bitch, that was two hours. We drove an hour there or an hour back. Y'all good? The fuck? They better meet a bitch. Now when they did what they did, they didn't drop your address. They put coordinates. I don't know what them numbers was, but them numbers meant something to y'all. I don't know what that location they said meant or the other location said meant. We don't know what them locations was, but it meant something to y'all. So that's how we knew y'all got hit and you gagged. You gagged because you thought it was just going to be on the internet. Oh, but baby, they did their homework. They did their homework and you got... Sure. What's up, you guys? It's your boy Jalen and, and your boy Cardo here. And this will be our last time. Scary as hell in Florida. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like Destin. Talking about they was on a private island. That looks just like Destin, to be exact. I'm responding to this. This is now an open case. As you guys can tell, we are on a private island. We have been here since Sunday. Sunday, literally. So that means everybody that was running from place to place, Murder playing beach. hot nah, potato. Murder. Oh, look worse than that, friend. That Murder Beach don't look that clean. Destin do. Destin got that white sand. A goose hunt. On a goose hunt, trying to find the goose. The whole time the goose is on a private island getting bat massages okay, yeah. and drinking mimosas. Oh. My attorneys have access to your Discord. And we now have receipts of you doxing multiple individuals, names, addresses, and numbers. We have informed those people that you're doxing their information and they are considering taking legal action against you. We also got the address to the Conroe location that you put in bold letters on your board in your video. And we reached out to the homeowners and told them that you are leaking their information and they are extremely unhappy with that and it's definitely taking legal action against you. And in regards to the homeowners, they are reaching out to their HOA to get camera footage of you going into their neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And if they get that, that's also gonna go against you for harassment and stalking. Mm, couldn't be me. Yikes. Couldn't be me. See, when you do things like this, you have to be calculated. To be a hoodlum. So I don't have to abide by any hoodlum rules. That's what y'all got going on. That's not what Jalen got going on. How can you I say everybody else is a hoodlum but himself? Like, cut up your mama, uh, your mama need to get the knife, cut up the back. Like, this is ridiculous. I carry myself to a different standard, you know? There's levels to this. Oh yeah, and the people that's putting like the police thing, um, you know, I've never been the type of person to hate the police. I get that most of y'all don't like the police, but again, you know, if you don't like the police, you were never, what the fuck? You were never the demographic of people that I wanted around me in the first place. Calling the cops and you sat there and said you wanted to fight too and get in the field and your baby need to die. Oh, when it's time to really fight. When you know people know where you live and might hide in the bush. Oh, now you scared. Now it's, I'm bigger than that. I'm better than that. I'm this. I'm demure. Right. You got to put yourself in certain situations. You got to act like this. And you got to do that. And we don't do this. And we're bigger than that. And you know, you, you people don't like the police, but we like the police. Because, of, yeah, because the police protect you. Okay. Scary helper. How you going to talk shit and then get scared when it's time to be about shit? Ow. Who knows? If you don't run your mouth, you better get ready to get popped in it. I guess she think it's over because she done threatening with the police. Them girls, what they say? They don't give a fuck about no police. <laughs> they don't give no fuck about going to jail. <laughs> That's what okay. they say. They don't give no fuck. <laughs> Y'all thought they gonna scare them? Oh, they gonna find you, baby. They're going to see you. And you're going to have to see them. 
if you go out, but you probably won't. They're going to see you. But what you're probably going to do is do a restraining order. But guess what? They don't get no fuck out no jail. <laughs> but y'all kept saying, so, so, so. They're going to see you. If it ain't about me, I told y'all don't fuck with BJ TV. Next case. Next on the docket, we have Tucson versus Oh, this is crazy because is this real? Like we gotta get to the celebrities tomorrow. Like Corey is still currently live right now. And me too. What friend do this to another friend? Like, I'm gagging. But word on the curb is people are saying that they feel as though Tucson was more of a friend to Ari than Ari was friend, a friend he live to on Instagram him. Right now, now child, make don't give me the line, but that's what the girls are saying. So if you don't know what is going on, what happened was Ari had gifted Tucson a $20,000 check for his birthday. <laughs> 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 I threw myself at the massage. <laughs> now, after the cameras and everything had cut off, <laughs> this is not funny, this is really sad. After the cameras had cut off, Ari had then allegedly what he's saying came to him and told him that, hey, that was just for cameras, it was just for show. <laughs> Yada, yada, yada. I think all she gave him, if I'm wrong, let me know, was 10,000 and not 20, or did he not receive anything? If he didn't receive anything, then <laughs> girl, that is fucked up. So the gag is, he, cause he told her he wanted a car and that 20 was supposed to go for paying for the car or the down payment for the car. So he went and already purchased the car, but didn't receive the money. <laughs> <laughs> didn't receive the money, girl. Oh, that's ugly, girl. So he is saying that he went and he spoke to her. Everybody's like, if that's your real friend, then you shouldn't have brought to the internet. But he said, look, I spoke to her. I went to her. I was saying this, but she won't respond. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. And so, girl, he said he did what he had to do and he came to the internet and he said what he said. Nothing is, nothing that I was saying is a lie, first. Um, my IG is gone because we all know why my IG is gone. A lot of things people do for internet. I'm, I'm cool. Do your thing. A lot of people ask, oh, why? Am I tripping? Didn't she get him on Impact? Like, is that not like her show? Am I tripping? And isn't he on her? cooking show on Instagram. I mean, on uh, YouTube. It don't have to be, oh yeah, you told me it's not my fault. I asked you that. Okay, so she got him on the show and why did why you didn't go to your friend? What's his sign? If this was your friend, why didn't you go come to her? Um, you know, why you come to her while you present the internet? First, I came to her. Um, my thing cancer? is, if you act as if you don't give a fuck, okay, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come to you a few times and then it's like, okay, you have yeah. an attitude like you don't give a fuck, okay, cool. All you give a fuck about is the internet, so let's bring it to your house. Let's bring it to your shit. Um, I never asked for a handout. Um, the check was all a, 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 a publicity thing that I, I, I was not aware of. Um, I never asked for, I never asked for it, okay? And then even when I, even when I was told that the check was, the check was presented with twenty thousand dollars. Okay, I brought it. I brought. I said she didn't give me money back to the internet. I, I, I was congratulating my friend when she brought it. When she gave me the check, I congratulated her on the internet. I said, hey, I love my friend. My friend. My friend fucks with me. My friend loves me. Check ain't about my my friend. Check ain't about fucks to to find out it's all a fucking stunt. Okay, cool. What's told afterwards? Oh, um, it's only ten thousand. Me being the dog ass friend, I said, all right, cool. I don't give a fuck. I'm, if anybody asks, I'm still saying I got twenty. Okay, didn't the play the, to go on and play my face to for it to be nothing after I brought up the fact that 
um, I want to start receiving money off of this YouTube shit. Oh, so he wasn't receiving no money off that. And then, still, I still, I still wasn't about to say that. So girl, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is one of their little schemes because you know him and Ari play a lot and they do things like this but from the looks of it I don't think this might be a scheme the girls is talking and the girls are saying hey she don't fill out with her hairdresser or whatever she don't fill out with Jada Nana fill out with Tucson you are the problem I'm in a fast coupe you in a bad mood <laughs> what are you playing that boy like that, but I gotta talk to Tucson. Tucson, you should have known better. If your own friend didn't, didn't have the 20k to give to you, then what makes you think? <laughs> what makes you think coming to the hard work and nine to five? People? Okay, <laughs> what makes you think coming to the hard work and nine to five people that they gonna have to give to you to go for me when you asking? <laughs> You asking them to give you money to ride around in a car when some of them ain't even got no car. No, Literally. Literally. Tucson. The hell going on? Tucson, <laughs> if she ain't got it, they ain't got it. <laughs> the least you should have asked from everybody was a hug. <laughs> <laughs> a hug or something. Or they could have went and watch the YouTube video. You could have dropped all the tea and said, y'all gonna watch my YouTube video. That YouTube video could have paid for it for free. But you didn't get it <laughs> And not only that, just a hot friend. Come on, and this this being real friend. How you gonna ask these people to pay on a GoFundMe for a gift that you didn't even receive? You know the fuck, but. Crazy as hell. If it ain't about me, you better tell Ari. Give me my money. Appreciate the sub, friends. Next to the docket, we have Yachty versus Caribou and Mitch. Now, child, this is crazy because I didn't see this coming, and I don't know what is in the. I gotta be. Water making all these friends fall out, but whatever it is, baby, do not keep a fake. That's all. That's why I ain't got them. Give it to me. Part of the girl is she was kicked out of Concrete Boys. Nobody knew why. Nobody knew what was going on. No one was speaking on anything. Now. A fan had went onto their Twitter who worked at Red Lobster and they said allegedly when she came in, they had asked her, girl, why did you leave? She said, I didn't leave the group, I got kicked out of the group. And she was like, because they were bullying me, harassing me, whatever the case may be, woo, 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 yada, yada. And this is all alleged saying that Caribou had told this to a worker at Red Lobster. Now, why would she do that? I don't know. Maybe she did, not thinking it would go viral. But from what I'm hearing is she ended up seeing the tweet and shared that tweet onto her Twitter page. And that is what sparked the anger within Yachty because I don't think he ever would have known if she wouldn't have showed that. Now, when you showed that, it gave people the room to speak. Oh, they bullied you. They talked about you. Woo, woo, woo. They were harassing you. So, girl, he took it on himself to go live, and this is what he had to say. Here, if you want to tell, tell the whole story, go ahead and tell people how you verbally abuse people. All right? Don't get on here and make it seem like they kicked you out. Like they kicked you out because, uh, bullying you? Bro, go ahead and tell people how you talk to people. How you tell my security guy, oh, you home, oh, you work for me. Oh, uh, we are, uh, we, you ain't got no, you're poor. And, uh, we above you and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. You talk to people like they, like they small, like they, like they beneath you. Bro, bro, hold on. Tell people, tell people how, tell people how you verbally abuse people. How you told me you gonna spit on me when you see me. Tell people how you talk to people, bro. How you, how, how you, how you, your brain is clinic. I, I could not argue with him realistically. I could. Clinically imbalanced, bro. How you disrespect people. How you on here lying, talking about some we bully you. That got me up, bro. You got me fed up, bro. You disrespectful, bro. You talk to people crazy. You tell people that they are nothing. You tell people you're gonna spit on them. You you tell people they poor and you talk to the you talk to my fucking label crazy. You claim I was stealing money from you. Bro, stealing money from you, how nigga? 
Stealing money from you how, bro? You ain't made no money, bro. See, this is the problem with you new artists. Y'all fucking, y'all get popping online. And then you become more popular than your actual music, right? You $900,000 in a hole and I got every fucking receipt. $900,000 concrete in a hole. I dare you try me. Try me, I'ma post it, nigga. And I'll post how much money your streams are made. You got, bro, stop, don't don't go on the internet and act like I'm bullying you, bro. I've been nothing but loving and caring and paid your bills and gave you money and you around the world. And nobody would even know who the f Caribou was if it wasn't for me. So why did Caribou, why is Caribou falling out with him? See, this all the shit we missing. We're going to have to get into this tomorrow. But why did Caribou fall out with him in the first place? What are we talking about, bro? What the f are we talking about bro i wrote that verse when we went on on the radar i put you last on purpose so everyone would say who the f is that girl i slowed the beat down i put 808 specifically on your verse so when it got to your part in the beat drop everyone would be like oh the, the girl is the craziest one i wrote that verse the night before we even went to on the radar on my phone bro i typed i i, I got the voice i got the f reference what the f you talking about you ain't never, you ain't never wrote no, no, a song in your life. That's why ain't no music came out since you've been left. Cause you ain't got no music. Cause you can't rap. What are we talking about? And I wasn't gonna say nothing. On my mother's life, I was gonna let you go live your life and go get a new writer and go get a stylist and go do you. I wasn't gonna speak on you, but you gonna go on the internet and say that I bully. Now me, I'm like, Yachty, why do you know? She also put out how she messed around with her cousin. That it came out first and said she not on the label anymore. Oh. Not just go to her and talk to her about this. But why would he when you made it public? You know what I'm saying? You want to make him look like he's a bad person. So now he's going to tell the people to tea. Because y'all are out here really fussing over something that someone said that she allegedly said at Red Lobster to a worker. Y'all done let somebody at Red Lobster fuck y'all look like that? And maybe this was Caribou's way of putting out her story because she was too afraid to say it herself. I don't know. But whatever happened, it done spiral. And in the midst of all of that and what was going on, they was like, well, boy, I guess we believe her because you was mean to Mitch, too. So, girl, he had to say what he had to say about Mitch. Mother podcast, I'm a motherfucking rapper. Got millions of dollars, I don't need to talk to other rappers. What the what are we talking about? I did the podcast for Mitch. Don't put goddamn three, 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 four hundred thousand dollars in Mitch's pocket. And y'all sitting here talking about some. He disrespecting his friend. And I got I'm I fuck I ain't fucking Mitch, bro. I talk I I've been asleep all day. I wake up to this crazy shit. Mitch, how do I say Mitch, how the fuck you didn't go on the internet and tell these folks that we playing, bro? That's we got goddamn six million views on it. Why the you ain't going there telling folks we playing. Man, it's Twitter, bro. You know how that is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. You know how Twitter is, bro. All right, fuck that, nigga. Fuck podcast, nigga. Fuck, fuck help people, bro. Oh, damn. So, since, since Mitch didn't clear it up, he done canceled the podcast. <laughs> the both of them. <laughs> Shut up. It's so crazy to me, bro, because it's like, bro, Kara's not a good person. One little she's, yachty birthday. I think it sound like a Leo to me. It's nasty. She's like a very disrespectful, rude, egotistical person. I'm talking about, bro, she talk to people like they crazy, bro. Like they nothing. Now, I don't know how y'all talk to y'all friends. I talk to my friends like that too. Like, hey, this is this, this is that, this is what we do, woo, woo, woo. And it could be like that. But I see what everybody is saying. If this is what goes on between you and your friends and you do something for your friends, one thing I'm not gonna do, don't throw in your friend's face what you have done for your friend. Cause they feel like now if you throw it in their face, you didn't genuinely mean to do it. Spend a lot of time trying to find your steps. Right. Right, but so that's, to what that's my make... point. No, 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 no. If you didn't have a friend who's already extremely successful to help you get on your feet, a lot of people don't have that. So what I'm saying is, how, what do you say? Because you didn't want to get a job. I never even suggested you get a job because I knew you wouldn't get a job. So what do you say to a who like, hey, I see a 
with a shiny watch. I got a gun, a dusty gun. It's going to take a shiny watch. You know what I'm saying? What are you telling me? I wouldn't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to encourage it, but you got to think about people got I, families. What I'm telling you is it's you can tell it. Bro. What? Like even what? if, even if, but what put I'm telling you, about but listen, but no, no, listen, no. Even if then, say, that's what I, that's the point I'm trying to make to you, bro. What point? Even if then, if I wasn't doing it righteous then, older now. So I would not tell it to do yeah, anything yeah, like I was doing back yeah, then, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's yeah, what I'm trying to tell that's you. That's fine, but you, that's because you've been through, you've been through. So then Mitch want to come out after y'all he said what he said, and he wants to say all of this, and whatever the case may be, and I can kind of see why y'all tweaked out, because you did. You allowed the internet to tear this man down and talk about him, but now, all of a sudden, you want to come up and you want to say something? Boy, keep that. I don't know. Whatever. Back to Miss Parable. She goes and then she posts this. I swear to God, I'm having 150 shooters in Atlanta. Damn the address. Talking about. So me, I'm thinking, were they fucking? Because y'all got some type of built up tension. Maybe they was fucking on the low. Nobody knew because this is giving hunt, hunting and lunching. And the man nature relationship has gone bad. Because y'all giving a whole lot of whole lot. So then she responds to Lil Yachty while she was on stage and she says, you know what, I'll never forget this feeling, whatever, whatever case may be. Pause it, read what you want. Whoa, whoa, really? Mo, it really got me. What? Who the fuck stick in the crowd view? Y'all messy. So they end up going back and forth. He talking about don't throw rocks and hide your hands. And she's talking about just leave me alone. I don't care. Was that Lil Yachty sitting in the crowd view? Mo, it really got me. What? Who the fuck stick in the crowd view? Y'all messy. Oh, filming it in the crowd view. So they end up going back and forth. He talking about don't throw rocks and hide your hands. And she's talking about just leave me alone. I don't care about this, you industry people. Y'all get on my nerves. Stop bullying me. Ooh, ooh, girl. At this point, girl, they was dating, girl. But whatever. In her defense, she didn't say anything. Somebody else did. So they need to be mad at that other girl for running her mouth. But I guess because she put it on her page, that's what made it mess. Where Cody Shane at? Cody, come tell us the tea. All right, if it ain't about me, let's keep keep next. Okay, next to the ducket, <laughs> we got Co Corey versus everybody. <laughs> Corey, you are a mess. You are, a and Danny, you are a mess too. You are a liar, girl. Okay. You a liar. Tell and the gag is the girls was talking. The girls was kicking about they saying that you was doing them fake EIN numbers or whatever the case it may be and all that other illegal stuff. I don't know how you got your money. How you got your money? You got your money. Oh. But let's start from the beginning. So, Corey. <laughs> oh, my God. Me and Maddie, as y'all already know, was going back and forth, tip for tap, whatever the case may be. I'm glad it's slowing down because I was getting fed up with these two. No, I'm not pregnant anymore. That's that's not news. Um, I kind of was making that clear, but... It's your life, and sometimes you want to be able to, to say things on your own speed and feel like you don't have to explain something to the internet. The cause of me not being pregnant anymore, I'm not going to go into that. It's no point. Um, at the end of the day, I'm happy, and that's what matters. I don't have to deal with this type of situation, and that's what matters. So, um, yeah, what else? Any proof that I've had, I no longer have. And I also want to say that, like, any proof, any proof, I do not have. Do you understand? Like, I don't have. So I can't even show you guys. I don't have a phone. My iCloud. You gave it to me, you're taking it back, you're Indian giver, that's no problem. You know, see, I, if I had to pull back up, I talked to the police, they, they get in their cars right now, I got my kid. My 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 Sorry, y'all, we didn't react to all of this all week. I'm done. I don't know if Maddie had stuff in there that could incriminate Corey or get Corey, and she was holding it for blackmail. I don't know. She lied, Danny lied, Corey lied, they all lied. I don't fucking know. But he went and he got that phone. Now, after he got the phone, Maddie, <laughs> Maddie said Corey came and 
He put his hands on her and he said that she came outside and hopped in the car. He talking about she smashed the laptop. She saying he stepped on the laptop and he did it himself and whoop, whoop, whoop. But Corey said he had the police at the end of the day. With these two, I don't fucking know who did what, who got what, what happened to what. They all lying if you ask me. I feel she beat her own ass like the thin line between love and hate. He smashed her own computer. <laughs> Ain't nobody did shit. They just mad at each other and just trying to make everybody look bad. Now, Maddie said she ain't pregnant. I told y'all she wasn't pregnant. I knew that helper wasn't pregnant. People saying, oh, but maybe she had a miscarriage. That helper ain't had no damn miscarriage. She was never fucking pregnant. She just knew that was going to be... Well, it was proved today that she was actually, um, she did a sonogram or whatever you call it. She was pregnant. Ammo for y'all to be on her side. A woman who got pregnant by Corey, he up and leaves and has another girlfriend. So y'all, stupid question though. The only way you can use that little machine thing is clearly if you're pregnant, right? Is that a way they can find out if you're pregnant or not? Wait, what did I... Okay, is that a way they can find out if you're pregnant or, or not? Yes or no? Yes. You use it for other things too. Ah, got you. So that might not be proof. Got it. Got it. Gag, catch it. Remember she was saying, Corey, now see. Maybe Maddie one line. Because if Maddie was this whole time was saying that was just a business partner and they was just doing this, you shouldn't be worried about it. But she was like, no, she saw messages and what was going on. So the doctor probably would have been like, we see something. There goes a leg. Fingers. <laughs> like, it does it work like that? Or nothing. Mm, okay. On and Corey was fucking her. I said, Daddy, you and Corey talking? She's like, nah, we ain't talking. I don't know. One, one, one in the chat. I me and Corey together, and then she on live. He talking about some, I'm going to give you $10,000 to kiss me. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I don't want to kiss you, Corey. This is just business. Me and Corey do not go together. And then you turn around, and y'all motherfuckers going together. Bitch, that was your goddamn money, Corey. Since you that $10,000. Hello. $20,000 at $39,000. Hello. Bitch, we ain't motherfuckers. I told y'all Corey was Clock is that girl. Up. Clock they it. all just lying. And what she don't understand, let me just slow down, slow down. So Maddie said, Corey, show uh, these folks the sorry, pregnancy test that you did. Let me tell you something, sorry. Don't bring up the fact that I can't eat eggs. I'm sensitive. Don't FaceTime. So honey, I don't know. She was, pro she was right. They was dating. And we now found out that they are dating. So Maddie won't lie. So she Maddie, wasn't. Maddie ain't lying about the pregnancy either. And Corey just really good at manipulating people and conniving people and making people think that what he's saying is real and really it ain't real because everything Corey done said has not been real from all the stuff Corey said, not real. Then Maddie come and show y'all about the, the, the cash app situation, not real. As y'all. But if, what's the point of y'all using the app? Y'all gonna pretend like y'all sending money to somebody to make it look like y'all got money? Corbin come out and she tell y'all them raffles ain't real, but Corbin saying they real, but who done got the truck? And where the people with the truck? I ain't seen the boy that won that charger a Hellcat and I don't know how long. Where he at? Where the other person that won the stuff? They don't even make the videos no more. Are y'all still in SSG? What the fuck going on? Where the people at? Where the cars at? Where the winners at? How come we never get to see the win? You know the fuck what? <laughs> Not real. After him and Maddie stopped talking and they don't went their separate ways and it seems like shit done oh died God. down. Now Corey ain't got nothing to talk about. Oh. But guess what? He goes back and he attacks Carmen. He oh, talk about, hey, Carmen, I done did this with the lawyers and this and that, but gag is Maddie paid for the lawyer. Maddie paid for the divorce papers, not you. So then Corman come out and she spilled all the tea. She's like, oh baby, you over here falsifying these documents and this and that. You talking about you hitting up the lawyers and my people. No, you're hitting up my hairdresser. You're hitting up this. You're hitting up that. Hit up my lawyer. That's who you need to talk to. You so pressed about some papers. Send the papers. Send the papers. You so pressed about the papers. Papers. Okay, reach out to my lawyer. 
get the lawyer, my, the papers you have, and she would give them to me, and I would sign them. You said, you text my producer talking about, oh, when can I meet up with Carmen? You got to meet up with me, sweetheart. Reach out to my lawyer. Reach out to my lawyer, not my producer, not my manager, not no assistant, not the person who booked my flights, not the person. <laughs> Reach out to my lawyer, my lawyer. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's that. Reach out to my lawyer, get my lawyer, which you say you have for me to sign. Then I meet up with my lawyer. We will go over it. I will sign and then she'll get back to you. Cause that's how it works, right? Unless I'm dripping. Yep. Cause Carmen don't want to meet up with you to sign nothing. I don't want to see your face. Don't want to talk to you. Like even on social media, I hate was. A, I hope I I re, not even. You, mm, I wish it was a way I could just block your voice, your face, okay, from everywhere. Someone ever have to see you? Simple as that. Exactly. You don't gotta meet up with you. Ex like you don't gotta meet up with nobody, baby. Reach out if you're a so called press and trying to get this over with and done with. Reach out to my lawyer. I promise you, my lawyer will get it done before anybody else will. Reach out to them. Why are you reaching out to my producer who produced my mute? <laughs> Why is you reaching out to my producer? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Because. You just wanted somebody to tell me you looking for me and, and, and you are giving papers. And, and, and you're right. giving papers. Right, right. I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. I'm sorry, cause I know she, she gonna text my phone and tell me, Carmen, you don't supposed to speak on it. But forget that shit. Listen, <laughs> your ex-girlfriend paid for the divorce to get fired. Cause you couldn't even do that correctly. All right. So, it was fired on such day. It was. It's there. It was. It was fired. You recently. fired. Recently. Not from the beginning of the year. Recently. Like. Recently. You heard her. Month ago. All right. Cool. Then, uh, you sent me an email. <laughs> an email. Because you can't reach out to me in nowhere else. You sent me an email and said, hey, like, can you please just sign the papers? Because a lot of I sent that email to my lawyer. My lawyer called who she needed to call and say, yes, it was filed on this day. We'll do it. But it's just sitting there. Sitting where? Because nothing being in my mail. <laughs> I'm confused. Sitting where? I'm confused. In the system? Yes, we did get married in Alabama in the court. Yes, we did. So maybe... One on one in the chat. Because of the way how he was, shit. There's no way they can't even freaking give me no motherfucking papers. <laughs> they don't do nothing through websites. They don't do... N <laughs> they do everything through mail. Old school shit. Through mail. Okay. Well, nothing being on my mail. I check my mail every day. You want that? I got papers. I get checks in my mail. All right, y'all know we don't already oh, react to this as well. Oh, what's <laughs> Why you asking her for money when they um, supplies? I'm here for with this. I'm mm. And this comment that says. This comment that says, why you asking her for money when they, um, that they divorced? When me and Carmen had what was going on, that was a long time ago. At the end of the day, we all a family around this bitch. So if I don't got it, one of them got to have got it. Got to have okay? it. Okay? Let's reason. move on. Listen, bro, some real shit. I don't got nothing against Big Boogie, bro. Man, respectfully, Big Boogie was just texting my girl earlier today. He texted her last night. You know what I'm saying? I got on my end. Hey, bro, it's all love, bro. I ain't never came and disrespected y'all not one time. The fans came on here. They kept playing on my top. They thought I was bothered in this shit. So I said, say less. I'm going to run with it. <laughs> but have some fun with this shit. Now, I understand a lot of y'all get tender. Y'all niggas get mad. But listen, I'm a real ass nigga, bro. In real life, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? The internet don't know me. They can judge me all day. They can call me corny, lame, cornball, corn dog, whatever they want to call me. 
But in, in, in the real world, you feel me? In the real world, when I'm walking this turf here, I'm one of the realest walking this bitch. And if you meet me in person, you'll know. Why everybody that get with Corey, throw shade at Carmen. What does Carmen got that these women want? But... <laughs> Zoe using my thumbnail. Zoe <laughs> said, bitch, we all gonna use each other's shit. And that's all, period. Throw that was a good thumbnail. That was a good thumbnail. Shay at Carmen. <laughs> what does Carmen got that these women want? But I guess Corey. But why are you throwing now? You sounding like Maddie. You sound like the all yeah, I'm saying that come back for me and try to, Oh, it's, it, it's that ain't no man going to put his hands on me. That's what she tweeted and stuff. Ain't no man going to put his hands on me. I'm this. I got all this. I got my business. I got this. I'm not social media. I'm government. I'm da, 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 da. Well, girl, if you all that, all I've been seeing is internet, 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 internet. I don't want to be in no blogs. I don't want to be in this. But you been internet, 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 internet. Oh, I ain't got to do this. I ain't got to do that. But you been internet, internet. Internet, internet, that internet promo is running that business too, ain't it? Uh -huh. You ain't pouring all y'all bullshit. He keep plugging that uh, pumpkin pie. Talk he about it. The pie, cobbler, whatever. Internet. Talk about it. Now, wherever the fuck your other money come from, Greg, is it legal? I don't give a fuck. That's your business. God sees you. But your internet, baby. And it's going to happen in, in all, three months. We going to see you. We going to see you. We're going to see you. Uh-uh, so we seen her tonight. We done seen a nipple. We got a, a fucking nip slip. All right, she done slapped the hell out that boy four times. It's already showing. We're going to see you if it ain't about me. Y'all better watch that, Corey. Next case. All right, you guys, that is all I... Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I've only been live for 12 hours. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Good day.